Go to jimmydorcomedy.com for a link for tickets, and we'll put a link underneath this too, okay? Um, so get this. This is from uh, Mediate. Ex-Clinton advisor Philip Raines, I have a hard time seeing how the Democrats could beat Trump in 2020. Oh, God. Of course you do. Because all you can think about, wow, we got to get a corporate debt. How, how can a corporate demo? This is the guy who thought Hillary Clinton was a good candidate. I mean, that's of course he thinks that. <laughs> hey, maybe if you put up someone that half the country doesn't hate already, maybe try that. Can you believe that? I mean, that's well here. So here's the uh, there's an audio recording. Who can win the primary. And so there's an audio recording from media. Here, I'll play it for you. Who could win the primary and the general election in the Democratic Party? I, I don't know. I I Obviously, (laughs) I I don't know. Nobody could be the most beatable guy in the world. He's like, I'm dumbfounded. If Hillary couldn't do it, nobody could. I mean, come on. Here we go. I I don't know. I don't. Is that um, because you don't see someone out there now? I I think there are people out there that would make great presidents. I just don't know how you get through both and then still be. I mean, the one thing that I've always, the one thing that Secretary Clinton has always said, whether it's about her or just in general is, you know, a campaign is about is between two people. And why that sounds obvious, right now when people talk about Donald Trump, it's really Trump or not Trump. When it's Trump versus Booker or Trump versus Sanders or Trump, that's a very different dynamic. Mm-hmm. And I always think of it this way, that if, if the election were held tomorrow. Yeah, because one of those people would beat Trump. That's a totally different dynamic. Bernie Sanders. Yeah, that's a he's a totally that that's the guy who would probably crush Trump. Because a lot of people in independence, he first of all, he he fires up the base, which is what the Republicans been doing for the last forever. And that's why they've been winning. They fire up their base. And that's why there wasn't a bigger blue wave. Trump went out and did rallies, fired up his base. Um, and number two, Bernie Sanders fires up his base and appeals to independents and appeals. That's right. He even appeals to people on the right because they like that he's not bought. And by the way, his big issue is Medicare for all. The over overwhelming majority of Americans are for that. So maybe if you ran a candidate who was for Medicare for all, you could beat Donald Trump. Because he ain't offering that. Again, none of this stuff goes into their head. I mean, you might as well just you, you might as well just ask a guy, you know, playing with his dick walking down the freeway. I mean, what did they know more than this guy? <laughs> this guy's I'm, I don't know. I've been in politics. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea how you beat Trump. You have no idea how you beat Trump. Again, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, you can't. You, you definitely can't try offering them anything. Don't try to actually be an attractive candidate. Yeah, you know, Bernie Sanders, that's a totally different... Yeah, it's a different dynamic because Bernie Sanders actually has a platform that is popular and that people will come out and vote for. Bro, um, stick in a name would Trump win? And I have a hard time thinking of, you know, like I think Tom Hanks would win and I think The Rock would win. (laughs) Is he joking? Like, is that... I think that Tom, this is where, he, uh, come on. So was he like joking or something? Or like, I think Tom Hanks would win. I think, Bert, what is he doing? I, I, this is. I have a hard time seeing how a lot of the people who are running would win. Hmm. Just as comparison, that that doesn't really. You see, it, you have a hard time seeing how Bernie Sanders. I see a hard time for the rest of them. I do. I see a hard time for Cory Booker, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Why? Because they don't excite their base, a, and they don't appeal to people on the other side of the aisle or independents because they're corporatists. That's why. <laughs> There's an anti-establishment fervor in the country. Um. 
Oh, I just want to remind everybody that this is a guy who's an ad- was an ex Clinton advisor, advisor, and he has no idea, no idea about who could possibly win against Trump because Trump's policies are so popular, right? Or is it because the Democrats have no platform well, whatsoever? This is exactly, They're, and the, and he's just throwing around personality. Well, Tom Hanks, what's his platform? Well, I just saw him in uh, the, right. the Washington po- the Post, and, and the he post. was fantastic. It was great. I loved the way he looked in, with gray hair. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think The Rock could win. So, again, it's nothing about policy. not Nothing about policy, nothing about offering people something, nothing about a platform, nothing about programs to change people's lives. It's one big reality show. It's, it's, it's the, it's the pro- king and queen of the prom. That's what this guy's doing. Well, he can't say anything about Medicare for all no. because as an ex Clinton advisor, she it said will never, never come, come to pass. pass. <laughs> I Let's, mean, if that's not a winning you know, I mean, do you do you, do you, you do you see why Hillary Clinton lost? These are her advisors. I'm completely clueless on how you beat Trump. The most uh, What was he one of the uh, the advisors that said not to go to certain states. I'm sure it was his. I well, I'm sure he had signed off. On, they were that was their strategy. So the Clinton campaign strategy was don't care about blue collar workers. Turn your back on them. We're going to try to get Republicans to vote for us. That was their strategy. But go to Arizona. Maybe yeah. you'll be able to get some votes go, in Arizona. Go to Tex- she was going to Texas and Arizona. She was going to get Republican votes. Screw the blue collar work. Blah. And guess what? They didn't come out to vote for you. This is a this is a great this is a study in of of, of the emptiness of a loser's head. I mean that they're not he is a he's a freak of nature. And so talking about Trump. Trump is a freak of nature. <laughs> he's not a freak of nature. You know what's you know what's a freak of nature? That you guys thought putting the most unpopular Democrat in the world who lost previously up as the you think that who offers nothing to nobody, you had to cheat in the primary to win. So now Trump's a freak of. Na- oh, it couldn't be that you guys suck. It's that Trump's a freak of nature. Oh, I mean, who could, you know, that's that whole thing. Who could have beat the freak of nature? Doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. Doesn't matter what I think. He is a bulldozer. So if you're betting now, he is a bulldozer. I mean, we can't. You just can't beat Trump. This can you? I mean, this. I cannot wait to play this at a live show. So what is it? So what is it? <laughs> so is Trump dumb? Is Trump a bulldozer? Is Trump capable? Is Trump it incapable? Doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter because he's the a Democrats freak of nature. Don't don't matter. They have they represent the Democrats nothing. Suck. Because Democrats suck. Because Democrats can't bu- beat Trump. You can't beat Trump. The guy, the emptiest vessel, the dumbest guy in the world. You guys can't beat him. Road scholars can't beat this guy. Wow. Wow. And you know why you can't beat him? Because you don't offer people anything. Because people don't like you. Because people are done voting for shit like you. That's why. Oh, you can't. Bernie Sanders would wipe the... <laughs> I think he, he's, he wins in 2020. Net, net, yeah. And and yeah. do you need a... Sl- For a lot of reasons, also because, you know, moments in history like this tend to not get resolved. The, yeah. only, the only two presidents in the last 85 years have been denied a second term. Jimmy Carter... George H.W. And George H.W. Bush. And both because they had, well, as a as a sign of trouble, they had serious primary challengers. Do, do, it's, harder to, it's harder to lose the office than get the office. Do, do you think... Who cares about that last part? Okay, there you go. So there you go. There's, that's the insight into a top-paid uh, advisor in the Democratic Party. That's, that's his insight. Oh, I don't see how we can beat Trump. He's a bulldozer. <laughs> what the F? What the F? And now you know why the majority of Americans want a third party. Now you know why the majority of Democrats want a third party. Do you know that? Do you know that 52% of Democrats want a third party? 52% of Democrats want a third party. Here's why. Oh, by the way, the Michigan governor, the Democrat who took a, became the governor of Michigan, just announced that uh, her transition team is going to be headed by the uh, CEO of Blue Cross, Blue Shield in Michigan. Do you see why people don't come out to vote? Do you see, do you see this? This is amazing. 
Um, I cannot wait to play this at a live show. Anyway, uh, wow, wow, wow. So the Democrats have control of the House. What's changed? You know, climate change is going to kill us. <laughs> If we don't do something in 10 years, this, uh, this, 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 this isn't happening. We really do need a real revolution. This is who the Democrat, this is who's running. You know, and, you know, I sit here, Jimmy, and I just like my brain, it, it just hurts because I, even... I don't understand after all this time. I believe I thought we had a Democratic president for eight years in office yep. with zero jobs program. Right. And there's I've I haven't heard one candidate or anybody who's in office talk about a meaningful jobs program or even I mean, you can see me... that our infrastructure is completely decrepit. Yes, you can see that's... how water is being poisoned throughout the United States. There's no jobs program. There's no roads program. Tom there's Hanks. no subway program. There's no high-speed rail program. Where are the programs? Because all those programs are an investment in our infrastructure, and that investment, it it's like trickling up. We pay people. Yep. They have an income. That income goes right back into the economy. Right. It's a win for the United States, except neither party is a voice for the people. So you know what he noticed he didn't say, well, it depends on what the Democrats run on. That's it. Nope. He didn't say, well, it depends on what they run on against Trump. If they run on ending the wars, Medicare for all, free college and a living wage, they'll crush Trump. That's not what as he didn't say. If because let me tell you, you know this. How many times I've got to say this? If the Democrats ran on ending the wars, Medicare for all, free college and a living wage, they would sweep back in the power. They just won't do it. They just won't do it. And the Democrats are not reformable. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a notice 